Hey everyone, welcome back to the Thinnertron Podcast. Today we're discussing and giving my thoughts on the Transformers Reactivate Starscream and Bumblebee 2-Pack. Now, both these figures and this line are going to be based off an upcoming Transformers video game called Transformers Reactivate. Now, you might be wondering, where did I get this information from, or how is this out? Like, how do we know about this? Well, we actually found this listing and this post and all these images and this information on Toys R Us Canada. It was posted on their website. I'm pretty sure you can't buy it. I think it was just just sort of a placeholder. We've actually seen this in the past before upcoming live streams. I actually think we've seen that with some Legacy Evolution figures. I think we've seen that with some Stu Series figures. Well, they'll put it on Amazon or whatever site and then they'll take it away because maybe it was a mistake or an accident. So maybe possibly we could actually see the official reveal of this pack, of this two pack of Bumblebee and Starscream at the upcoming uh, Pulse Premium live stream, which is going to be happening on October 27th. So that is a high possibility. Maybe it won't happen maybe it will. I don't know, but there is quite a bit of information and quite a bit of stuff really pointing towards that that I'm going to mention in just a sec, but getting into kind of the, you know, the basic information and my thoughts, the price that we have right now, again, all this is according to Toys R Us, so this could be 100% correct or this could be 100% incorrect, but the price that we have right now is $72 because I'm pretty sure Bumblebee is about deluxe class size and Starscream, I think, is about Voyager class size, so I think it's, it's a little bit of a price it really should be like 60 or 65 but get but again as i said that could change in the end it could be about 60 or 65 dollars in the end as for the release date that's kind of one of the areas where it's a bit wishy-washy because according to many transformer sites and toys R Us, the release date was october 1st and as most of us know that has long since passed as of the time i'm recording this audio is october 18th and none of us have actually been able to pre-order or purchase the set yet so that information is definitely inaccurate and out of date so maybe this could go up for printer or purchase on like November 1st or December 1st. So we really don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. But getting into my thoughts, you know, and all the details on the figure, you know, and the packaging, we actually do have some images of the packaging, which is actually pretty exciting because typically with, you know, these early leaked images for these figures, usually we only have like a few of the robot and the alt mode, but nothing of the packaging. But we actually do have a few stock photos of the box as well. So starting at the front of the box, we actually do have the Transformers Rise logo. So you might be wondering why is it say Transformers Rise when the actual video game and the line is supposed to be called Transformers Reactivate? Well, I'm pretty sure, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure the game's original title was supposed to be called Transformers Rise, and for whatever reason, I really don't know, maybe we'll learn someday, but for whatever reason, they changed the name to Transformers Reactivate, which, you know, really a matter of preference of which name you prefer, but maybe they're actually going to call this toy line Transformers Rise and not Transformers Reactivate. There's actually been a bit of speculation that maybe they made this box, you know, and this set before they ever changed the name, or maybe they just wanted to call the line that previous name they had for the video game. It's kind of up for debate. We really don't know the order of events or how that kind of played out, but, um, it does appear there's an open window, you know, showing off the figures. I'm not sure if it's going to be a plastic window or if it's going to be an open box, you know, where you can actually touch the figures. Not really sure, but we do have some artwork shots of both Starscream and Bumblebee on, of course, the side the actual figure is packaged in, so I think that's pretty cool. And we do have their name or title with tons of really cool kind of Cybertronian hieroglyphs um, all across the entire box. And we do have a proc shot of both Bumblebee in his robot and, of course, Starscream in his jet uh, there as well. And I do think, I don't I don't think they show the top of the box, but at the top of the box, I think it appears that maybe there is an image, uh, another image of maybe the robot or the alt mode, because you can somewhat see, because the image is a stock photo, you can somewhat see a bit of yellow and red on top of there, so maybe there's a few more images at the top of the box. Um, but getting into the back of the box, Starscream transforms in 26 steps, and Bumblebee transforms in 20 steps. Um, and there's actually a few images or kind of proc shots of the video game that has yet to be released. So I think that's some pretty exciting information. We can have actually our first kind of glance or, you know, view of that video game. Because I think we've only had one trailer of the Transformers Reactivate video game. And it was a pretty short trailer. And of course, there was some information. There was some pretty interesting tidbits. But there wasn't really a lot revealed. So... 
Um, really, I'm taking any information I can get right now. I think most of us are really kind of taking any information or uh, news we can get about this game uh, right now. But getting into the actual figures, in my personal opinion, I definitely think the Bumblebee looks way better than the Starscream. That is just my opinion. Actually, do let me know of uh, these both uh, both these figures. What do you think about them? Leave all your thoughts in the comments. Um, but just starting off with Bumblebee, I have to say he actually looks really cool. He transforms into a really cool kind of dune buggy Jeep, which is very different from what we typically see for him. Um, I think probably most of these designs are going to be kind of, you know, military style, you know, war-torn kind of upgraded designs, you know, like typically what we've seen, you know, with Bumblebee and Optimus, they're typically just kind of the classic, you know, Volkswagen bug and truck, but I think these are going to be a bit more, you know, uh, rough and tough, you know, battle-ready, a bit war-torn, uh, which is pretty cool, kind of a stylized approach. Um, and Starscream does transform into a jet, which I don't really know how to describe my thoughts on Starscream. It's just as soon as I first saw these images, Starscream just really doesn't impress me, and he still doesn't impress me. I think his jet is fine. I just think his robot mode is a bit lackluster. It really does seem like they spent quite a bit of time and attention on Bumblebee, but not much on Starscream. That's just how I feel. If you really like Starscream, that is perfectly within your right if you have that opinion. It just isn't really working for me. He just seems very flat and very small because I'm pretty sure he is supposed to be Voyager class size because I didn't I do think they said their heights or their sizes of the figures and Starscream is bigger so I do think he's supposed to be about Voyager class scale or maybe just like a really big deluxe small Voyager and kind of that range there but um, he does seem rather kind of small and squat I think he probably should have been a bit more chunky and strong no he's never been you know as bulky and big as like you know Megatron or Optimus but he does seem rather tiny for a Starscream figure, but he does have two really cool kind of form blasters. I do like the wings, and of course, he does have his classic, uh, you know, red, orange, and uh, blue deco, which looks pretty cool with the wings uh, behind the back. And I do like the intakes behind the shoulders. I think that's pretty cool. And from what I can see of the head sculpt, I actually think it looks pretty cool. Um... As for Bumblebee, I do like his accessories. He comes with two really cool kind of um, machine guns or like small little pistols. And I do like the little ammo clips. I think that's a really nice touch. And I do like the really cool kind of front bumper bar piece as the chest. And the head sculpt looks really good as well. And of course, his classic deco of the yellow or kind of the, the orangish mixture looks pretty good as well. Um... And as for their alt modes, I have to say, I think they look really, really cool. Again, I still probably do prefer Bumblebee over Starscream, but I have to say probably of the two modes of Starscream, I probably like his jet mode more, which typically doesn't happen for me, because usually in my collection, if you see my collection videos, I always display the figure in the robot mode, and that might not be the same case for Starscream, because I'm just really not feeling his robot mode. But as for their alt modes, I actually really like uh, Bumblebee's kind of doom buggy sort of jeep mode. I do like the really cool kind of spikes going up the back and you can actually store the machine guns at the front definitely reminds me of sort of a spy car which i think is pretty cool um and maybe their blaster piece compatible maybe they are i'm um, actually compatible with some of the effects pieces we've actually had from kingdom you know legacy evolution legacy i think that'd be pretty cool if they were um to kind of cross over lines you know and have them compatible um and i do like all the black really cool kind of lines and decals and designs on there and the really cool big beefy tires definitely really adds that very, you know, chunky, war-torn, you know, upgraded feel to Bumblebee. And Starscream uh, Jet actually looks pretty cool. I do like the black, you know, the really dark black, the dark red, and the wings. I think that looks really cool. And it does appear his accessories can store on the side of the wings, which is always a nice touch. And he does have his cockpit, which I'm unaware if it can open or close. But that is really all the images we have for this set. Do keep in mind, there is actually some listings. There is supposed to be, I think, another two-pack with, um, Optimus Prime and Soundwave, so maybe those would be both Voyagers, or maybe Optimus is going to be like a leader. We really don't know the pricing or the size for both those figures, but I am actually pretty interested to see how those are going to turn out. Like, what is Soundwave going to turn into? You know, because he typically turns into a boombox. Maybe they're going to not, you know, actually go that direction. Maybe he'll turn into sort of like a, you know, a car like he did in, you know, Fall of Cybertron and War for Cybertron. He never turned into a boombox. He actually turned into sort of a futuristic car, Jeep type 
type of vehicle, so maybe they'll do that approach, or he could turn into a boombox, really don't know. And we can obviously guess that Optimus is going to turn into his truck, but maybe again a bit stylized, a bit more war-torn, battle-ready. Um, and I do hope he comes, you know, maybe with his axe, I think that'd be a pretty cool inclusion. Uh, maybe his classic rifle. Um, and I'd actually really love to see for a sound wave, maybe some of his cassettes like Laserbeak or Ravage. Maybe one of them, just one of them would be a, a pretty cool inclusion. But let me know think of these two figures in the comment section down below. Will you be picking up this set or will you be passing on it? Again, as of right now, we really don't know the actual release date, but I'm actually maybe thinking we'll actually have the official reveal at that upcoming uh, October 27th live stream because, you know, as I said before, the release date according to Toys R Us was October 1st, and, you know, the 27th really isn't that far, you know, about a month away, so it's still in that same month, so maybe it could be at that live stream. We really don't know. Um... That information could be, of course, completely inaccurate. We might have to wait a while. We might actually, you might have to keep in mind, we might have to wait for the actual video game to release. And I don't think the video game actually has a release date yet. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but sometimes with toy lines that actually correspond with the video game, they actually sometimes have the video game release, then the release of the toys, or vice versa. So this could really go, um, you know, a lot of ways. But I do hope you enjoy this news video, and I will see you next time.